This is a mountain buggy urban jungle, and it's one of the uh, current models, the newer models. And today we're going to show you how to open up the front end uh, such that you can swap out parts or tighten it if necessary. So uh, it's uh, relatively easy to take off the top panel. On the back side is a small slot, and um, it's actually hard for us to get an angle to show you on camera, but you're just gonna wanna poke either a flathead screwdriver into that slot or a uh, butter knife, and then you just lift off the whole thing. You see this little piece is uh, popping out of that slot, so you're just depressing that. Now, when you get in underneath, you'll see the bolt that holds the axle in place. And uh, this very often needs to be tightened. You can see that this is loose. And uh, that can make it wobble. It can make the wheel feel as though it locks to the side. Uh, and so it's a good idea to tighten this. The ideal uh, tightening, uh, the ideal means of tightening this would of course be with a socket wrench, but I don't have one today. I only have a pair of pliers and this doesn't look rusted. If yours is very rusted, you will need to use a socket wrench in order to get off the bolt. We're gonna remove this instead of tighten it so that we can continue taking apart the uh, swivel mechanism. go and then when you take it off you can just pull this out so here is um, the front fork uh, there's a little plastic ring here if this gets damaged that can also be a reason why your front swivel wheel will feel loose in which case you would need to replace that and inside here are a few things one is a top is a little washer, another plastic ring, and then from the bottom end, flip this up on its side, we can see the locking mechanism for locking the actual swivel wheel. Um, this is a lot weaker than the older models. There have been a number of things that have changed on Mountain Buggy over the years. In my opinion, not all for the better. Uh, but you can pop off this little flap. Just dig a flathead screwdriver on the sides and you can pull it off of those pegs. Uh, it has this little plastic tag and this little plastic tag when you're locking the swivel, it locks right into there. And unfortunately it's uh, again, not as strong of a system as they had before where everything was metal. Uh, and this plastic tag can break, so that's how you would replace this piece if you need to. The rest of this plastic assembly can also be taken apart. It's just a matter of prying this piece away from this piece, and then you can pull the whole thing off. But I've never actually seen this need to be replaced before. So if you have trouble and you need to replace these plastic parts, uh, just let me know in a comment and we'll do it in a future video. Um, the only reason I can see that it would be necessary is if they crack or if the uh, the uh, channel inside here widens too much. But uh, now we're actually just gonna show the reassembly of this front mechanism. So we're just gonna press this back into place. Um, if you do take this all apart in order to realign it or to tighten it or something, it's always a good idea then to properly lubricate it. And if you're taking it apart like this, then I, I recommend using a thicker lubrication, either some food industry grease or some multi-purpose car grease, something like this especially here around the axle. You can use both a multi-purpose car grease and some WD-40 to get it a little bit like slipperier, more viscosity. Okay, put that locking piece back on and now we're just going to reinsert the axle. Uh, again, I highly recommend that you grease this up ahead of time. Put that in. Then there was the first plastic cylinder that's gonna go on and this is just going to uh, fill up that space between the axle and the uh, channel. And then the washer. And if that's uh, popping up a bit, it'll all get pushed in along with the nut. 
Okay, and then you just want to make this relatively tight. Uh, you do want to test it as you're tightening it because if you tighten it too much, then of course you won't get decent rotation in the wheel. And it's been like this on Mountain Buggy for really all of their generations that when you're tightening this, you have to uh, check that as you're tightening. Again, socket wrench is uh, far more appropriate for this job. So I'm just going to tighten it as much as I possibly can and then test the rotation and uh, loosen it if I need to. So let's see, to me it feels a little bit tight on the rotation. I'm going to loosen it then a little bit. And now it feels like it rotates decently. Just about finding that nice middle ground. And then of course, lastly, you can replace that top cap. I'm just gonna snap it into place. So. That's how you take apart the front swivel locking mechanism of the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle, the newer model. We hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.